How goes the family? Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great and exceptional day. Today's word of the day is bugaboo. Stands for, it's another name used for a creature known as a boogeyman. Imaginary monster that children believe will hurt them or even take them away if they don't behave. The um, reason why I chose this word today is because um, it's an election season. And everybody's worried about Donald Trump. Everybody's worried about Joe Biden. If you have any common sense like me. You got to make moves regardless of who's sitting in the White House, Governor's House, and Mayor's House. That's the way the name of the game goes. I come from Black American lineage, and people from my uh, culture made things happen when they could not even read, made things happen when they could not even vote, made things happen when they didn't even have access to all the stuff we have access to today. So I always say you got to be able to make moves regardless. Make it, when I say make money moves, a liberal like a fool. That means make moves regardless and stop worrying about some some boogeyman whether it's imaginary or realistic you got to fight the boogeyman you can't be comfort comfortable because comfort zone is a death sentence and you know you just got to look at it like that you know that's just there's no other way to slice and dice it you have to understand that the comfort zone is a death sentence all right okay and today's quote of the day is by kobe bryant he says um, at the end of the day, and this, before I even go into it, Kobe Bryant was, remember if you ever see my content, I'm not a basketball fan, I'm not a football fan, I'm not a sports fan, period. But people see me wear a Dodger hat, it's because I just love Los Angeles. But um, I don't know who's playing for the Dodgers, I don't know anybody who ever played for the Dodgers, I don't care. But um, Kobe Bryant was definitely um, a person who evolved throughout his life as you're supposed to when you get older. You know, when he was younger, he was considered to be more of an arrogant jerk, um, arrogant, pompous jerk. But as he got older, he was more humbled um, by life because life happened. I mean, heck, he had moments where when he was in Colorado, I believe, I believe it was Colorado, a woman stated that a woman who he had sex with um, stated that he raped her. So it was a whole big ordeal. I think that was back in 2004, 2005 time frame. So anyways, long story short. Um, I think that humbled him. The fact that his wife forgave him humbled him. The fact that he was big on being a family man humbled him, you know. Um, and it's sad the way that he was, um, the way he died in a helicopter crash in Los Angeles. Um, it was horrific. But I will say at the end of the day that rest in peace to him. But he always had good wisdom to put out. I think he was becoming more of a philanthropist as he retired from the Lakers. Um, you know, he was invested in other businesses. You know, he was... He was just starting his next life, and he was starting to enjoy his next life. And um, I think I'm at that point in my life where I'm, whether I'm ready to or not, I'm starting my next life. I'm in my 40s. I'm going to turn 42 in the next six months, um, and everything is changing. And everything has to change, whether it's for better or for worse. Everything is changing, and um, you have to accept the change for better or for worse. And you got to do your best to move on. You got to suck it up, be an adult, and just go from there, you know. But these are the things that, you know, matter the most. And, um, you know, I'll just leave it at that. But anyways, uh, Kobe Bryant always said that um, always do your best to inspire. And the quote is much more deeper than that. But he always said just do your best to inspire and um, engage with others to want to become the best version that they can be. Now, and the reason why um, I me I mentioned that because I remember when he I saw well, I saw a documentary when he went to play for the Olymp for the U.S. in the Olympics um, for basketball, and he they they were having the, the Olympic team was getting their quote unquote was getting their butts handed to him, they weren't winning, um, but he um, and they were in Vegas their training camp was in Vegas so a lot of them was partying you know, in Vegas, and they saw Kobe, the guys would come in from partying at night, and they'd see Kobe at four, four wake up at four or five in the morning, and he um, would go work out. He didn't say anything to anybody. He didn't say, you better come work out with me. I'm Kobe Bryant. He just started, they saw him working out, and they was, they was, they would, a lot of the players from the team would come home from the club, and they hey, Kobe, what are you doing? He said, hey, guys, what y'all, oh, nothing much, man. I'm just about to go work out. And, you know, he, he worked out, he trained, and um, they saw how inspiring he was, and they started, they stopped partying, and, you know, of course, being in Vegas, but especially being an NBA star, 
you're going to want to party and have a good time. But they saw the discipline and the attitude and, the, and the, the, the effort that he gave every single day. And they was like, you know what? We're, we're jumping on board with this. So that's that, you know, it's something, it's, you know, I used to say this saying back in my mid twenties, lead by example, don't lead at all. Now, I, I don't know if I made it up or heard it somewhere, but I've always said that I'm not going to actually claim that I made that statement up, but because a lot of times people love to talk a big game, but they don't, there's no action behind the people can give out great advice, but what are they doing? You know? So Kobe Bryant led by example. Not a perfect person. He had his, everybody's had, everybody in this life has done something that is considered to be morally wrong. Nobody's perfect in the moral category. I don't care who they are. I don't care what their position is. Nobody's perfect. Everybody's done some dirt in this life. Nobody's perfect. You know? So just, uh, most people just don't get caught. That's just the way the game goes. But at the end of the day, um, rest in peace to him and rest in peace to anybody who's lost anybody this year. Rest in peace to anybody who's on their way to losing somebody this year in any aspect. Um, respect and peace to the um, to the people down in Houston, Texas, and anywhere else who've been going four days without heat. I mean, uh, power, therefore, going four days without air conditioning. Uh, people's lives have been turned upside down. Some people's lives have been ruined. So, And with much respect to the power people working in the power companies out there trying to get the power restored for, for all those residents down there in the sweltering heat. So that's all I can say. Do the great three free things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always say, make money moves or you're going to live like a fool. Take care.